Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, the recipe that I'm sharing with you all today is my cheat chicken tikka masala. Now, this recipe is ready within 30 minutes and it's super easy to make. It's an instant hit with the kids and I'm sure you're going to love this. So let me run through the ingredients quickly and then we'll start cooking. So the ingredients you're going to need are one kg of chicken breast, which I've had chopped into medium pieces. I'm using Raja Tanduri Masala here, which is a dry rub. I've got two tablespoons of this. I've got four tablespoons of oil, four tablespoons of natural yogurt, and I have one teaspoon of salt here and half a teaspoon of the following ingredients, cumin seeds, coriander powder, dried chili flakes and garam masala. I've got a quarter teaspoon of the following food colouring here, which is orange and red. This is optional, but it does add a really nice tikka colour to the um, chicken. I've got one green chilli, which is finely sliced. If you're feeding this to kids, then obviously leave this out. And I've got 40 grams of butter, so let's start cooking. So we're going to start by first of all adding our Raja Tanduri Masala into this. And then add all the ingredients in, um, all the spices, salt, the cumin seeds, the coriander powder, the chili flakes, the garam masala and the food colouring as well. And we just want to give that a good mix. And once that's really nicely combined, you just want to add the yoghurt straight into that. And once that's fully combined, we're going to cover that with cling film and then we're going to leave that to rest for at least 30 minutes before we actually start cooking. So now that the pan's really nice and hot, I'm going to add the oil straight into this. And just wait for that to heat up. And then we're just going to add the chicken straight in. Make sure you scoop off all that masala. So once you've added the chicken into the pan, we just want to gently stir that. And just let it come back up to the heat again because you've obviously added the chicken into that and it's going to cool the, um, the pan down. Just give it one final stir. And then turn my heat down to medium. And I'm going to pop the lid onto this. And I'm going to let that cook for about 20 minutes, but I'll be stirring that in between and just checking up on it. And after 20, I'll show you how it looks. Oops, forgot to mention, guys, just to add a little bit of water into the bowl that you've mixed the, um, the chicken in and um, just take off all that um, masala mixture and then just add it straight into here. Just like that. And then... <laughs> Now I'll pop your lid back on again guys and let that cook for 20 minutes. So guys this has been cooking away for 20 minutes now and just let me show you how it looks. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add the sliced green chilies into this and then we're going to cook this without the lid until all the water is completely dry and I'm going to show you how it looks once it's done. And you can see that there's no water left in there. It's just slightly saucy um, from the yogurt that we added. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to add the final ingredient, which is the butter, just to give it a little bit of richness. So straight in with that. Now you can reduce the quantity of the butter if you wish, or you can just leave it out, that's entirely up to you, but I just think it adds a really nice uh, flavour to the chicken tikka. And that is it. 
That is my quick cheat chicken tikka masala ready in 30 minutes. And let me show you how it looks once I've plated it up. Right guys, my cheat chicken tikka masala is ready and I've just served it up in some wraps with some lettuce, cucumber and tomato and onions. I've got a side of mint chutney here, but I usually prefer my wraps just as they are. So let me tuck into one and tell you exactly how it is. Mmm. That chicken is super moist. Mmm. Really, really, really good. Really quick and easy. Ready in 30 minutes and it can't get any better than this. Go try the recipe, guys. I'm going to leave you with this. I hope you've liked what you've seen today. If you want more recipes like this, which are quick and easy, then drop me a message in the comments below and I'll try my best to get some more videos up. So stay safe, eat lots and happy cooking. Till next time, take care.